It's time for the quiz show where high school teams face off in a contest of quick recall. Production funding provided in part by L. Robert Kimball and Associates, architects and engineers with offices in Evansburg, State College, and across Pennsylvania. Proud to support the students who learn in schools that they design. Additional funding comes from the Fisher Family Fund. Team captain, come on up here and shake hands. We've got some really tough questions and I hope you're ready. Oh, the northernmost city in Africa. Yes. If I knew it'd be a lot easier. That yeah. was really amazing. Two more Central Pennsylvania schools will compete on Scholastic Scrimmage. Join us as we welcome Claysburg Kimmel High School in Blair County and Connemaw Valley High School in Johnstown, Cambria County. Now, here's the host of Scholastic Scrimmage, David Price. Hello, and thank you for joining us for this qualifying round game as Claysburg Kimmel and Connemaw Valley are all set to match wits in today's contest. But before we begin, let's meet our student scholars from Claysburg Kimmel. Hi, I'm Bethany Clore, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Shantae Serka, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Peter Dehoff, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Amber Eicher, and I'm a junior. The alternate for Claysburg Kimmel is Kristen Ritchie, a junior, and the team's coach is Karen Musselman. And now let's meet the competitors from Connemaw Valley. Hi, I'm Nick Rickard, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Vanessa Sheehan, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Alex Kasich, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Rob Margetten, and I'm a senior. The alternate for Connemaw Valley is Marina Johnson, a junior, and the team's coach is Lori Clark. Our judge for today's contest is Valerie Moss from WPSU's Educational Services Division. Our game is divided into three rounds, and each team will have a chance to earn points in a fast track segment. The team that has the top score when the final buzzer sounds is today's winner, and that team will advance to the next level. If you would like to see a complete set of rules for Scholastic Scrimmage, please go to WPSU.org. Now, in our first round, the teams are asked questions in an alternating format. For each correct answer to the opening question, they'll be given a bonus question. Team captains, I get you to come on up here and exchange a handshake. Good luck to you both. We will begin with round one. We start in arts and literature for Claysburg Kimmel. First and last names needed, please. Who wrote the novel, Maggie, A Girl of the Streets? by Stephen Crane. Math and Science for Connemaw Valley. The distance to stars less than 100 light years from Earth is measured through a what? Vanessa. Light year? No, it is a parallax. Social Studies for Claysburg Kimmel. First and last names, please. What was the name of the special prosecutor that recommended impeachment of President Bill Clinton? He's Kenneth Starr. History for Connemaw Valley. Which explorer sailed around Africa to India in 1498? Nick. Ponce de Leon. No, it is Vasco da Gama. Social Studies for Claysburg Kimmel. The 1871 Treaty of Washington settled claims relating to what warship built by Britain, which was named for the home state of the first Confederate capital? Bethany. The Virginia. No, it is Alabama. Ended up in Virginia. Arts and Literature for Connemaw Valley. First and last names, please. What author, who also used the pen name Ellis Bell, is best known for a novel about Catherine and Heathcliff called Wuthering Heights? Emily Bronte was her name. Arts and Literature for Claysburg Kimmel. What woman was given the gift of prophecy by Apollo, but was cursed after she rejected his advances so that no one would believe her. Cassandra? Chante. Cassandra is correct. Your follow-up, Claysburg Kimmel. The Midgard Serpent will kill and be killed by Thor at what last battle of Norse mythology? 
Shantae. Uh, Ragnarok. Ragnarok is correct. Arts and Literature for Connemaw Valley. Which university did James Thurber attend? Vanessa. Yeah. Oh, he's a Big Ten guy. He went to Ohio State University. Social Studies for Claysburg Kimmel. What was the name of the wife Henry VIII was wanting to divorce when he left the Catholic Church? Chante. Catherine of Aragon. That was Catherine, your follow-up Claysburg Kimmel. What people conquered India in 1526? No, it was the Mongols. <laughs> Arts and Literature for Connemaw Valley. What trage tragedian is said to have been born within earshot of the 480 B.C. Battle of Salamis and wrote the plays Medea and the Trojan Women? Nick. Homer. And what is Euripides? History for Claysburg Kimmel. What country's dominant ANC party has a membership that includes Tabo Mbeki, Mbeki, excuse me, and Nelson Mandela. South, Afri South, South Africa. Africa is correct. Your follow-up, Claysburg Kimmel. Fears that commemoration of the Haymarket riots could accompany a May 1st event led the U.S. government to adopt a later date for what federal holiday? Shante. Memorial Day. No, it is Labor Day. Math and Science for Connemaw Valley. What part of the nervous system that ends at the cauda equina begins at the medulla oblongata and is protected by the vertebral column? Vanessa. The spinal cord. The spinal cord is correct. Your follow-up, Connemaw Valley. Francois Alphonse Forel, who studied Lake Geneva, is considered the founder of what science, whose name means the study of lakes? Vanessa. Geology. No, it is limnology, the study of lakes. And that is the sound that's going to conclude our first round with uh, Claysburg Kimmel at 40 and Connemaw at 10. This brings us to our first fast track. This is the time to take a quick breath, relax, because you've got up to 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions. You buzz in, I say your name, answer as fast as you can. Nobody answers within three seconds, and we go on to the next question. That's the uh, rules for the fast track. Are you ready? Yes, they are. Let's go. First and last names, please. Who wrote The Sea Wolf? Jack London. What was the capital of Russia during World War I? Nick. Stalingrad. St. Petersburg. First and last names. Who, what was the former name of the world heavyweight boxing champion Muhammad Ali? Alex. Cassius Clay. Correct. What state of matter is the element chlorine? Vanessa. Gas. Correct. In which month is Columbus Day celebrated? Nick. October. Correct. Before Hurricane Katrina, what was the costliest hurricane? Rob. Andrew. Correct. Palau is an island country in which ocean? Vanessa. Pacific. Correct. In musical terms, what does dolce mean? Softly and sweetly, didn't get in. What state borders the south side of Kansas? Nick. Oklahoma. Correct. What was the most common element in the average star? Vanessa. Carbon. Hydrogen. And that was a good round. Fast track. Take a little breather here. Take the edge off and meet our Student scholars from Connemaw Valley. To my left is Nick Rickard, a senior, uh, sings in the church choir, in the Spanish club, and has an interest in the pipe organ. Now, many ways to describe the interest in the pipe organ. What is it about the pipe organ that, that enthralls you so? It just fascinates me how they work and how the sound is produced. Are you playing one? No. No, great aspirations too. I'd like to learn. There's a lot of keys and yes. buttons, They're very complex. Well, good luck to you. Thanks for joining us today, Rick. Uh, Vanessa Sheehan, a senior captain, and uh, yeah, golly, where to start? In Envirothon Student Council, and you have two ducks. Yep. One's name is Marcellus, mm -hmm. Marcellus the duck, and Johan mm -hmm. the duck. 
many ducks are not named Marcellus and Johan. How did you come to those names? Um, Marcellus was a name from a movie, so it wasn't that good. But the person who gave me the duck, Johan, was the kid in elementary school who used to throw erasers in her hair and just be the <laughs> most evil person to her. He was actually a foreign exchange student, too. So I took it from there. All right. Uh, not good for the duck's self-esteem, but all right. That's a great story. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Vanessa. Good to meet you. Uh, Alex Kasich, a senior. I, uh, umpires Youth League Baseball I wants to go to UPJ and major in engineering. I, actually, I, w I was going to ask you about the bike you're building in shop class, but it occurs to me, umpiring Youth League Baseball, that's a risky place to be. How are the parents? It's it, uh, tournament time. They get a little rowdy. But during the regular season, it's everyone you know because it's just in the hometown. Okay. So it's pretty good. So you know them. They sort of stay in line. Yeah. And uh, how, where would you get the plans for the bike? I mean, is this from the ground up? Well, basically, I have bicycle frames and kind of merge the two together, but I had to design it all on CAD, so okay. it's pretty well planned out. I've heard of CAD. I'm glad you're the one operating, Alex. Uh, good, to, good to see you today. Rob um, Margettin. Yes. A, a senior from Connemaw Valley in the National Honor Society, very involved in band. And now uh, one of the questions that we ask, of course, is tra trapped on a desert island. You get three foods to pick. What do you pick? And he chose potato chips, french fries, and pizza. It's going to be a short stay on that island, do you think? Yeah, well, everybody, I'm on the run a good bit, so, um, you know, I always eat some pizza somewhere, and I've always had a love for fries and pizza, so. And, and I'm on, on board with you. I think if it weren't for pizza, I would have starved to death many years ago. Well, uh, thanks for <laughs> joining us today, Rob, and a good luck to you as we enter into the second and third rounds. We've got toss-up questions now for both teams can answer, uh, and if they get the toss-up question right, they'll get a follow-up question. Remember that with the toss-up questions, if you buzz in and give the wrong answer, five points will be deducted from your team's score. And that is the way it goes as we enter round two. First toss-up is in current events. First and last names needed, please. What keynote speaker at the 2004 Democratic National Convention later defeated Alan Keyes to become an Illinois senator? Peter. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is correct. Claysburg Kimmel with the follow-up. In May 2005, the Vatican waived, in the case of Pope John Paul II, the five-year waiting period to begin what process of declaring somebody blessed? Shante? Canonization. No, the first process is beatification on the way to canonization. We were looking for beatification. Arts and literature, toss-up question, and it comes with music. <laughs> Isobel, which you just heard, Troiti, and Nimrod are three of the movements in what set of 14 mysterious variations composed by Edward Elgar. Puzzling they are. They, uh, they are the Enigma variations. Toss up in history. Which act of 1862 gave large amounts of federal land to states that could be sold to raise money for education? Nick. Homestead Act. No. Claysburg Kimmel. The Moral Act. Social studies, toss-up question. Indira Gandhi was the daughter of which leader of the Indian National Congress who also served as the first prime minister of India? Vanessa. Mohandas Gandhi? No. Claysburg Kimmel. Shante. Mahatma Gandhi? No, it was Nehru. <laughs> Arts and literature, toss-up question. And we'll direct you to the monitor. What mausoleum made of white marble is said to be a tribute to the wife of Shah Jahan? Nick. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is correct. Your follow-up, Connemaw Valley. Which Russian composer's sixth and last symphony, which premiered just before his 1893 suicide, was called the Patetique Symphony? Tchaikovsky. Vanessa. Tchaikovsky. Good discussion. Yes, it was Tchaikovsky. Arts and Literature, toss-up question. First and last names needed, please. Who wrote a 1961 travelogue subtitled In Search of America, 
recounting his travels with a poodle named Charlie, but is better known for the Grapes of Wrath. Nick. John Steinbeck. John Steinbeck is correct. You're a follow-up for Connemaw Valley. First and last names, please. Which German poet wrote the Ode to Joy that Ludwig van Beethoven set to music in his Ninth Symphony? Johann Sebastian Bach. Vanessa. Johann Sebastian Bach. No, it was the poet Frederick Schiller. Social studies, toss up question. Full title needed. In 2005, high levels of arsenic were found in hair samples of which British monarch who reigned from 1760 to 1820 and was known for bouts of insanity? Vanessa. King George. Judges. Claysburg. Peter. King George I? No, it was King George III, because there were more than one King George. We have to get specific on that. Our toss-up next in popular culture takes us back to music. Cause Earl had to die. Goodbye, Earl. We need a break. <laughs> Dixie Chicks. Yep, and of all the points to pick that song up, that's correct. The Dixie Chicks uh, released Goodbye Earl, which you just heard, Traveling Soldier and Wide Open Spaces follow-up, Glazeberg Kimmel. Don Cheadle earned an Oscar nomination for his performance in what 2004 film, where, as Paul Rusa Sabagina, he protected Tutsi refugees? Shantae. Hotel Rwanda. Hotel Rwanda is correct. And that is the question that's going to conclude our second round. We got a tight one with uh, Kanama <coughs> Valley 100 and Claysburg Kimmel 70. We will uh, go to our second fast track now. Again, the rules: one minute up to six, qu 60 seconds up to 10 questions. Buzz in. I say your name. Answer quickly. If nobody answers within three seconds, we move on to the next one. Those are the rules of fast track. Are you ready? And they are. Let's go to fast track. First and last names needed, please. Who wrote the ball poem? John Berryman, in what city did the Haymarket Square riot take place in May 1886? Chicago, in what decade of the 1700s did the Whiskey Rebellion take place? 80s. In the 90s. Starfish are part of which classification? Chante. Invertebrate. Echinoderms. First and last names needed, 2005. Who was named as the new Chief Justice of the Supreme Court? John Roberts. Correct. In 1900, the Boxer Rebellion occurred in what country? France. Bethany. China. What is the longest river in the U.S.? Shantae. Mississippi. Missouri. Who painted the girl with the pearl earring? Johannes Vermeer. First and last names needed. Who wrote the song, You're a Grand Old Flag? Didn't get to it. That's George Cohen, George M. Cohen, even. Breather after our uh, fast track round and take a, a moment to meet our student scholars from Claysburg. Kimmel brings our score. Um, well, they just took it down there, and, and I don't have that good a memory, so we'll say Bethany. Welcome back. Bethany Clure, a senior from Claysburg Kimmel, second year in the Scholastic Scrimmage team, and she also plays volleyball and worked with sixth graders on scientific experiments. Hmm, what you teaching them? Um, it was through this program through St. Francis, a professor came down and through National Honor Society I went and I helped them. We did paper chromatography, we examined bones to measure them and it was really interesting. That's the kids cool. had a lot of fun. Excellent. Well, that's good to see you again, Bethany. Welcome back. Uh, your captain, Shantae Serco, the mm -hmm. senior. Uh, second year in Scholastic Scrimmage as well, editing this, the uh, school newspaper and involved in some high school musicals. I'm not doing anything this year, but what did you do last year? Um, last year we had, we put on a Joseph and Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I just had like a really small part, but it was a lot of fun. And I think this year we're putting on Grease, so I'll probably be in that. Get back on stage? Yeah. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it is. It is fun. Yeah. Well, good to see you again, Shantae. Yeah. Peter Dehoff, the uh, senior from Claysburg Kimmel plays football, member of student council, and in Odyssey of the Mind, which is an interesting project. Uh, there's a long-term project associated with that. What's your challenge this year? Well, this year we didn't start yet, but last year we had to use uh, some type of natural disaster, like a volcano or a tornado. And we picked a volcano, and we also put it in with the butterfly effect, 
see okay. how one little thing affects another. It was a lot of fun. It's a fascinating effect, the butterfly effect. Uh, good to see you, Peter, and uh, good luck to you today. And Amber Eichery, junior from Claysburg Kimmel, also on the Scholastic Scrimmage team last year. Uh, in chorus and leadership Blair County youth. I'm familiar with the adult program. What is the uh, the youth program? Um, it's much like the adult program except it takes 10th grade students from um, schools around Blair County and we learn to be better leaders in our life and in our community. Excellent. Well, good luck to you today, Amber. Good to see you again. And this brings us now to our final round. <music> Toss up in current events. What former KGB agent won 71% of the vote in March 2004 en route to re-election as president of Russia? Peter. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is correct. Claysburg Kimmel with the follow-up. Most of the damage done by Hurricane Katrina to New Orleans was due to a breach in the levee holding back the waters of what lake? Chante. Lake Pontchartrain. Lake Pontchartrain is correct. Arts and literature toss-up question. We direct you to your monitor. What collection of tales was told to King Shariar over the course of 1,001 evenings by the daughter of his visor, Sherazad? Chante. The Arabian Nights. You were looking at Sherazad. They were Arabian Nights and the follow-up for Claysburg Kimmel. The gentleman caller, Jim O'Connor, Joins the characters Amanda Tom and Laura Wingfield in what Tennessee Williams play? Chante. Death of a Salesman. No, it is the Glass Menagerie. Math and Science toss up question. What term is given to a three dimensional figure with one circular base and a curved surface connects the base and vertex? Chante. Cone. It is a cone. Your follow-up, Claysburg Kimmel, pencil and paper could help you. List all of the factors for the number 19. Chante. 1 and 19. 1 and 19 is correct. History, toss-up question. Henri Dunant earned the first Nobel Peace Prize for founding what humanitarian relief organization with a scarlet symbol? Bethany. Red Cross. Judges. They took it. The International Red Cross, that is correct. Your follow-up, Claysburg Kimmel. First and last names needed, please. What British general's death in the 1759 Battle of Quebec is depicted in a 1771 painting by Benjamin West? General James Wolfe. Toss up in social studies, we direct you back to the monitor. What policy shown being investigated here was deemed unenforceable by the Wickersham Commission of 1931, two years before it was abolished by the 21st Amendment? Chante. Prohibition. Prohibition is correct. And your follow-up, Claysburg Kimmel, full title needed, please. What czar who was defeated at Narva went on to win the 1709 Battle of Poltava, where his army routed the Swedish forces of Charles XII? Peter the Great is who we're looking for. Math and science. Toss-up question. On the revolutions of the heavenly spheres was the magnum opus of which Polish churchman and astronomer who championed a heliocentric solar system? Vanessa. Aristotle. No. Claysburg Kimmel. Chante. Kepler. No, it was Nicholas Copernicus. Geography, toss-up question. Bartholomew Diaz sailed around the tip of which continent in 1487? Nick. Africa. Africa is correct. Follow-up, Connemaw Valley. What place did the first bombs to fall on British soil fall during World War II? You got in, Vanessa? Greenwich. No, it fell on Shetland Island. Current events, toss-up question. In September 2005, what university named Peter Nadazi interim head of its $25 billion endowment, the largest educational endowment in the world? Mm -hmm. 
Nick. Harvard. Harvard is correct. Your follow-up, Connemaw Valley. In May 2005, one of what Romanian's Bird in Space series fetched the highest ever price paid for a piece of sculpture at auction? Constantine Brancusi. Math and science toss-up question. Starch and cellulose are polymers of which six-carbon monosaccharide? whose concentration determines a person's blood sugar level. Rob. Glucose. Glucose is correct. Your follow-up. <coughs> what type of triangle has three sides of different lengths and three angles of different measure? Vanessa. Scalene. Scalene is correct. Oh, oh my. And that is the game-ending buzzer, and it doesn't get a whole lot closer than that, with Kahnemaw at 140 and Claysburg Kimmel at 150. Congratulations to Claysburg Kimmel. You'll be moving on to round two. And uh, Kahnema, wow. That was a great game, very close. Those of you who aren't graduating, hopefully we'll be seeing you back again next year for Scholastic Scrimmage. And thank you for joining us. Uh, do stay tuned as student scholars from Central and Phillipsburg Osceola will be competing next on Scholastic Scrimmage. Production funding for Scholastic Scrimmage has been provided in part by the Fisher Family Fund, helping support programming of local interest. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.